So Gav, can you give us a quick injury update on, on the rest of the squad? Yeah, it's um, been a little bit stressful with uh, with the injuries because they're starting to mount up a little bit. Um, I'll start with with, with uh, Rob Dickey because um, it's the most uh, prominent. Um, he come off um, with a minute to go um, with an ankle injury. Um, it does look pretty serious as it stands. Um, he's gone back to, to Reading where they're looking to um, send him for an x-ray today, um, more precautionary, um, and then probably scan him later in the week. But um, unfortunately, he'll probably be missing for, for a few weeks. But um, the latter part of the week would be, uh, be in a better situation to to uh, give an update. Um, Billy, Billy Waters come out of the, the game. Um, he's tweaked his medial ligament. Um, hopeful that um, it'd be available for Saturday. Um, he's responding really well to, to the treatment and stuff that we're doing. So. Um, yeah, good good news on him. Hopefully, um, it'd be tight, but I think we should we should be okay. Um, on my list is uh, Elliot Richards. Um, obviously, he's been battling back from from his illness, and he's been doing really really well. He got to a stage where he's in, in practice games. Um, he'd been done, or had done a lot of a lot of like normal training. Um, unfortunately, um, overstretched um, in, in a tackle and his hamstring um, we've built him back up so we're just going into the, the, like the final stage of his rehab um, fully functional going for some real pace um, I'm, I'm sure he's quicker than, than he looks so uh, we've got that to deal with this week um, hopefully um, maybe full training next week if we, if we can um, Bobby Dale um, he's been a long-term um, absentee from, from the from the squad um, he, he had like a serious uh, patella tendinopathy, um, he, which he, he kept quiet for and played through because he just wanted to play games. But um, unfortunately, it's, it's, it's costing him. Um, we, we've gone through um, some prolotherapy injections, and, and he's responded well to that. Um, we're stepping up his um, volume of work, um, and hopefully, in the Probably after Christmas, we would probably start seeing him back in in full training properly. Um, but he, he is he's responding well. Like it's it's difficult for him because um, he just wants to be playing football, um, and, and he's he's missing out. But uh, we we we're, we're getting there, albeit quite slowly. Um, I think one more. I've got um, Adam Page, who um, has been obviously out on loan at Hereford. He's another young lad that has persevered through injuries and kind of kept it kept it to himself and um, unfortunately he's got a stress fracture to his navicular a bone in his foot um, so it does mean say so that he's going to be in a boot for um, six weeks maybe eight and then um, we, we'll see where we go from there hopefully it, it should settle but um, yeah oh Amari Morgan Smith how could I forget Morgs um, yeah, Morgs is, uh, he's got one more week in a boot, um, he, he hates the sessions at the moment because it's all um, upper body and, and core, um, but he's, he's going to be, uh, yeah, a week before Christmas, he's going to be in the gym and we can start his rehab and we can start the proper work, um, he, he's itching to get back and do um, some, some more beneficial, not beneficial, but more um, rewarding work. Uh, he's, he's, he's just a bit down. However, um, he, he said that he wants to be in like twelve-hour days and, and be uh, in every day. I'm not sure we'll do that. So I think we'll probably have Christmas off. But um, yeah, he, he's got one more week past. So then, then we've got another six weeks with him of uh, rehab, etc. So all good. Great. Cheers, Gav. Keep up the good work. Cheers.